as I have been sharing with you in this video series here in Portugal. Fatima has many secrets, and one of them is Fatima outside of the city, where the story led after the apparitions. I am here in Coimbra, about an hour north of Fatima, where Sister Lucia spent the last of her years for many, many years. First, she was a sister of St. Dorothy, then she joined the Carmelites, and she stayed at this Carmel in Coimbra, which is beautifully located near the University of Coimbra, one of the oldest universities in Europe. She spent many years there, and right next to the convent is a beautiful memorial that has many relics from her life. You can see uh, the habits that she wore, you could see the glasses that she wore, the shoes that she wore, the rosaries that she prayed with, the things that she worked with, and you get a sense of who she was and the work that she did while she lived there. It's one thing to go and get to know Fatima where the apparitions happened, but then to see what happened to the people afterwards. Sister Lucia is so important, as many of us know, because she lived until 2005. At 90 year, 98 years old, she died living an amazing life, spreading the message of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and this devotion of Fatima. If you ever get a chance to come to Fatima, you have to come to Coimbra to see where she lived, to see where she prayed. One thing that's unique about the church that's right next to her convent is one of the original statues of Fatima is there. When the apparitions first happened, people didn't exactly know, nor was it transmitted, what exactly did the Blessed Mother look like. So many different statue makers made a lot of different versions of what they thought the children had said because they didn't have social media, they didn't have news reporters, so the message wasn't clear. A Dominican father went and interviewed Sister Lucia himself many times presented many different versions until he got all the details correctly. An exact statue that he made is there in that church, and you will see that now in the video. He also made a large stone statue that's in the center part of the original church in Fatima, and I'll show you another video of that. So my friends, when we get to know Fatima, we have to get to know all of it, not just in Fatima, but all the different places where the children were born, where they died, especially Sister Lucia, who had the longest life. Thank you for joining me on this pilgrimage. Please consider supporting and praying for this channel. And again, my wife and I want to lead a pilgrimage here next year, hopefully in March, because it's the off season and it's beautiful weather, slightly cold, but warm at times. So if you are interested, comment down below, share these videos with your friends so that everyone can not only have a devotion to Our Lady of Fatima, but, but deepen their knowledge of everything that happened along with these beautiful events. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one.